hey y'all it's elizabeth in north carolina i'm at dollar general just got back from ramsey street and that's on the other side of town and let's see what oh there's my gas oh y'all look there's my gas needle right there right you see it right above e i see it okay <laughs> listen y'all i'll be praying for you if you need gas our governor i just found out from the girls in dollar general because listen anybody who knows me knows that i don't watch tv and i don't watch the news if i do watch tv i watch pbs which is public broadcasting system and so I didn't know we had a gas shortage. Like I worked all day and didn't know we had a gas shortage. We don't have a gas shortage. Somebody hacked a pipeline. It's gonna be back up on Friday. But we have a stupid governor. And he told everybody that there wouldn't be any gas till Friday. So when I was coming down Ramsey Street, I knew something was wrong because there were people out into the roadway and ambulances running up and down the street because the traffic was so bad because every gas station had people waiting like it was 1978 and we were having a fuel shortage and we were having to wait for two dollars worth of gas in line for days it's not it's gonna be fixed take a breath if you can ride your bicycle walk or if you can stay home until you need to get those things when this is all cleared up, or if you can Amazon and have your stuff delivered, do that. If you have to go to work, I'm sorry, and I'll be praying for you. I see people saying they're going to sleep in the parking lot at their jobs. Fortunately, I don't have to go that far, so I don't have to worry. Don't let it get you.